Food packaging has been around in diverse forms throughout history. Nicholas Appert came forward with the canning method to preserve food. His process involved boiling food and sealing it in airtight glass containers, giving birth to the modern canned food we see in grocery stores. This video will tell you about food packaging, its history, and how packing technology is a significant factor in protecting food from contamination or making eating more accessible. Modern Day Geeks has all stored for you, so let's get our video started. Everyone has some level of experience with food packaging. Packaging technology plays a significant role in ensuring the continued viability of perishable goods and reducing the likelihood of spoilage in today's fast-paced world. If you pay attention, you'll notice that practically all of the processed items you buy at a shop are sealed in plastic before you bring them home. Simply put, food packaging is how we keep food safe for consumption. Packaging for food encompasses how food is transported and stored and the materials and technologies employed in doing so. Among these reasons is the desire to increase food storage life. However, the technology behind food storage containers is hopelessly out of date. Its origins are intriguing. There may soon be significant changes in the way food is packaged. Researchers are hard at work on mind-blowing breakthroughs, such as electronic tongues that can taste things or nanoparticles that are 50,000 times thinner than human hair and fight bacteria. The origins of food packaging go back quite a way. The Chinese were pivotal in developing paper and wrapping paper, which were used to preserve food. Progress in Egypt manifested itself in the shape of new methods for making glass vessels and utensils. Glass containers of various shapes and sizes were used to store consumables. Since then, revolutionaries like Nicholas Appert have been pushing things forward. Appert's glass canning technique paved the way for today's metal cans. In the 1880s, the oats produced by the company Quaker Oats were packaged in cardboard cereal boxes. You might be wondering what are the primary roles that food packaging plays? Packaging food involves more than meets the eye. Some of the most critical roles that food packaging plays are packaging keeps food safe by isolating its contents from the elements. Once the food is opened, it quickly spoils. Good news for the food industry, correctly packaged food lasts longer in storage. Food packaging can prevent food from being spoiled or unsafe because of biological agents, including rats, insects, germs, and bacteria. Food packaging educates people about the product. Everybody reads the ingredients list before buying food. Brand names, best before dates, and ingredient lists can all be printed directly on the packaging of every food item a company sells. Paper and paperboard are the most common types of packaging. When it comes to food packaging, paper and thick paperboard account for about 34% of the market. Dry foods such as rice, lentils, and flour are packaged in this substance. It's inexpensive and quickly decomposes in the environment. Plastic. There are two types of plastic used to package food, rigid and flexible packaging plastic. The market share for each is 27% and 10% respectively. Plastic containers have many advantages, including low cost, shape versatility, light weight, and processing simplicity. However, there are a lot of backlashes against plastic food containers because of the difficulty of recycling them. Glass Many liquid foods are stored in glass bottles because of their mysterious nature. In addition to being chemically harmless, this technique also lends itself to infinite recycling. Unfortunately, this type of food packaging tends to be somewhat cumbersome due to its weight. It's also very fragile and tends to shatter very easily. Metals Metal containers can easily hold both dry and wet foods. This process is standard for beverages and canned goods. Metals provide an alternative to glass that retains many of the latter's advantages without the latter's fragility and heaviness. Now, let's talk about some futuristic food packaging edible packaging. Dinner in the future will be eaten alongside the packaging rather than being discarded. This, at least, is the opinion of several authorities in the field. The past year, a team at Harvard University led by Professor David Edwards has created many edible and delightful food containers, dubbed wiki cells. 
The team's creations include pumpkin soup and spinach membrane, lemon juice in a lemon membrane, and melting chocolate in a cherry membrane. This idea was inspired by the apple, which shields its matter with edible skin. Micropackaging Using nanotechnology, a group of scientists from Texas A&M University has created microfilm, which could revolutionize food packaging. The material is composed entirely of water, a soluble polymer, and 70% clay particles and is thousands of times thinner than human hair. The project's lead professor, Jaime Grunian, claims the film is essentially dirt. Still, the packaging is far more environmentally friendly than plastic, has the preservation capabilities of glass, and may maintain the fizz in a soda better than anything on the market. Intelligent Packing to what extent would people use it if food packaging indicated when it was safe to eat? Dutch researchers are developing Release on Command Install Preservative Innovative Packaging to save perishable foods just in time. Due to national security concerns, the United States military is also investigating intelligent food packaging. The military is hoping that scientists will be able to develop super sensors that can determine if the food has been tainted. Antimicrobial Packaging Antimicrobial packaging does more than merely keep bacteria out of food, it kills them. An Israeli graduate student named Ronan Goetzman developed an antibiotic killing paper covered with silver nanoparticles. This paper can be used to prevent bacteria from spreading to food. Goetzman says, the more effective the particles are against germs, the smaller they are. That's it for today, we hope you like the information. If you want to know more about food packaging and growing global technology, subscribe to us. Also, ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new information. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we'll see you in the next video.